If you decide you'd like to draft using architectural units, it's important to note that AutoCAD is a little bit picky about how you enter your values. In this lesson, we're going to learn the rules we need to follow when entering architectural measurements. If you take a look at my screen, you can see I've got a drawing of a floor plan. This happens to be a drawing of a college dorm room. And this drawing was created using architectural units. We can verify that by visiting our Drawing Units dialog box. We can see right here, this guy's set to architectural. I'm going to click OK to close this. What I'd like to do in this drawing is I'd like to take the geometry that we see in this bedroom, and I'd like to replicate it in this bedroom, and we're going to enter our values using architectural measurements. So I'm going to start out by zooming in just a little bit. We'll make this a little closer on our screen. And we are going to draw this rectangle first. This represents a full-size bed, and the standard measurements for a full-size bed are 6 feet 3 inches by 4 feet 6 inches. Let's come up and launch the line command. And I'm going to move over into this bedroom. Now, I'm not going to be real concerned about trying to match the distance away from the wall. That's not important right now. I'm just going to pick a point on screen. And then I'm going to make things easy on myself. I'm going to come down and lock my ortho to restrict my movements to 90 degree angles. And then I'm going to pull downward and I'm going to type my first measurement. I'm going to type 4 apostrophe. The apostrophe is the key right next to the enter key on your keyboard. AutoCAD needs this apostrophe to recognize that we're entering feet. I will then type 6. And the quote, the quote happens to be the exact same key. The quote is the exact same key as the apostrophe. You just have to hold down your shift key to get it. And AutoCAD needs this quote symbol to know that we're entering inches. At this point, I'm going to hit Enter, and I've finished my first line. Let me pull this to the left now, and I'm going to type my next measurement, 6 feet 3 inches. Notice that we're entering our values very similar to how an architect would write them on a piece of paper. Once again, I'll hit Enter. I'm going to pull in an upward direction, and we'll type 4 feet 6 inches. Enter, and then I will right-click and select Close to finish the shape. Okay, now we'll draw this shape. This rectangle represents a nightstand. Once again, I'm going to launch my line command, and I'll pick a point near the bed. Let's pull down. I'm going to type 2 feet 3 inches. Enter. Now I'll pull to the left, and we'll enter our next value. Notice the next value has whole inches and fractional inches. If there's anything tricky about this, this is what you would consider the tricky part. Watch this. I'm going to type 2 feet, and then I'm going to type 2 for my inches, dash 3 fourth inches. Notice where I put that dash. I put it between the whole inches and the fractional inches. We have to do that, otherwise AutoCAD looks at it as 23 fourths, which is incorrect. Let me hit Enter to finish my line. Once again, I'll pull up, and I'm going to type 2 feet 3 inches. Enter. And I could take the easy way out and close, but you know what? I'm going to type the full dimension. Just for practice, I'm going to type 2 feet 2 dash 3 fourth inches. Always remember to separate your whole inches from your fractional inches with a dash. I'll hit Enter, and then I can hit Escape to cancel out of the command. Now you may be wondering, are there any shortcuts to entering architectural measurements? Well, there's one. Let me show you how that works. We're going to draw this last shape. It's a circle. It represents a lamp. Let me come up and launch the circle command. I'm going to pick a point approximately in the middle of the nightstand. And then I'm going to type my radius. 5 dash 1 half. That's your shortcut. If you don't enter the quote symbol, AutoCAD assumes you're entering inches. Let's hit Enter to finish my shape. As you can see, entering architectural measurements involves a little bit of extra work on our part, but it's still quite simple so long as we remember how AutoCAD wants us to enter the values.